Hey, what's up, Parents Hive? It's Amy, and it is day four of the coronavirus quarantine here in Michigan, and I'm looking a lot like it's day four of the coronavirus quarantine. Got some cool hair going on. Had something that actually worked really well. Again, the Facebook group is going crazy with so many people sharing amazing ideas and activities, resources, all kinds of really cool things. I wanna share with you the literal game changer that we did at our house today. Uh, that was submitted in the group. And I'm telling you, like I try a lot of things with my kids. My kids are four and six. Some stuff works, some stuff you're like, eh, okay, this might work for some people. This thing, no joke, game changer. So yesterday my son uh, ate what I like to say his body weight in applesauce packets. Um, I was working a lot. The kids were kind of running all over the place. This cowlick, man. If you got any submit some tips on how to get rid of cowlicks, let me know. Um, my son was... I don't know if he ate eight or nine of them. He just kept hoarding them, finding, I would find them places. I never even saw him go get one. He was like a ninja on eating applesauce packets. So I saw this tip in there about basically setting out your treats ahead of time, letting the kids know these are your treats for the day. And they basically ration themselves with the treats. So I had bought these baskets from, um, I think I bought them from Target in the front section where we all spend too much money and it's like it's supposed to be a dollar but you end up spending 50 somehow, $3, yeah. Bought them from Target and these were perfect. They finally came to good use as the snack rationing thing. My son has one, my daughter has one. One water bottle for the entire day goes inside the basket so that we're not doing a million dishes. And then they can fill up their treats um, we had four things. So basically two different snack times with two things. So one had an applesauce packet and, um, that like pirate's booty that, uh, I don't know, they're like overly expensive organic cheese puffs, right? That we make our, make ourselves feel good about giving our kids cheese puffs. Um, but the other one was like the, uh, kind of a granola bar thing. So, uh, and a regular apple. So they picked the first snack they picked on the day. They knew this was their cup for the day. So she had that. Then um, the first one was uh, an apple and the, the pirate's booty. And then the second one was the little granola bar and the applesauce. And then now they actually ate their lunches on time. They are excited for dinner. They're hungry for dinner. And we're just in a much more regulated, normal routine for eating meals um, and helping the kids to understand that like, you know, grazing all day isn't the best thing in the world. It's not the best thing for us. And it's not the best thing for them either. So this was a really, really, really great tip. And I wanted to share it with you because again, every single thing that, that we do um, that I'm highlighting is something that I've actually tried and something that I'm actually using. And this one, I'm not kidding you. It was one day game changer and anything, anytime we can find something like that, do it. Here's the next thing that we're gonna do. So today has been, again, we've been just working a lot. It's day four with no school and, you know, no, and working from home. And it's been a real challenge to kind of balance everything out. So at the end of the day, you know, I am sitting here like a lot of parents from what I'm seeing online, they're not getting all of the stuff done that they wanna get done. They're not getting all the schoolwork they think they should get done. Um, and and there's parent guilt. Parent guilt is a terrible thing, by the way. And it exists whether you deserve it or not, which you probably don't. Um, you do one thing, you get parent guilt. You do the opposite thing, you get parent guilt. It's just guilt is just a way of life when you're a parent. So one thing that we're going to do after dinner today, because I did not get through as much of the, you know, super cool homeschooly stuff that I wanted to do. And even the assignments, just the few assignments that we're supposed to do. I didn't get through all of those today either. Um, one thing that we're going to do is, uh, do the Disney thing. Have you guys seen, um, there's a, a virtual ride, virtual rides at Disney. Uh, Disney has actually released where you can go on some of these rides and, um, experience the rides together. So we've actually been to Disney. We've been to both Disneyland and Disney world. Um, and so my kids have been on quite a, you know, a fair amount of the rides. So I just think it's going to be a really fun thing for us to do together to actually go and uh, experience the rides that they've seen in person, experience them in a virtual capacity. 
there's all kinds of museums, Broadway shows, all kinds of just really entertaining things right now um, the, that these outlets are, are giving away for free. Uh, the Disney one speaks to the age of my kids right now. But if you have older kids, if I was in high school right now, oh my gosh, I would be eating up just the free Broadway musicals and all that kind of stuff that's online right now. Um, it's an amazing educational experience. We're gonna be checking out the museums later, but I wanna check out the museums and see who's really doing a great job um, and who's really got a great uh, museum, virtual museum tour for kids. I'm gonna check that out tomorrow. Um, my kids are really into um, natural history museums because of those movies, the night at the museum. So uh, I want to show them like what a real natural history museum is. And I really hope that these museums just have their A game on with great docents or people who work there, you know, walking people or interpreters, uh, walking people around and just doing really fun stuff. I can't wait to go and check those out. Uh, some of the museums that are on these things, I haven't been to since I was a kid, so I cannot wait to go in there. But today is all about entertainment. We're gonna shake it off a little bit. We're gonna relax and we're gonna hang out and do some Disney rides virtually and just see how fun they've made it. Cause you know they did a good job. All right, so try this out. I'm telling you guys, this is the game changer of the day. Just crazy. I'm gonna do this all summer long. Some of these things, this is the coolest thing about this thing, you guys. We're doing this. I started this group because, and I started this channel because, you know, of this stupid COVID quarantine that, you know, we're doing, of course, because we need to and we need to take care of our neighbors and the people who in our community who are more vulnerable. I'm still angry about the whole situation. I'm not angry about helping out. I'm just, you know, pissed off like everybody else. But here's the good thing. This, we're actually getting really, really great ideas um, for just home life in general that are going to last well beyond this quarantine. So this one I'm super excited about. Um, one, because it justifies a random Target purchase, and two, because it actually keeps food in my house longer, um, you know, than it would have when my kids become little Hoover vacuums uh, and eat up everything in the pantry. So try this one out. I'm telling you, game changer, game changer. Hope you had a great day. Stay strong. We're going to get through this. It's going to end sometime. Promise. Hey, and if you like this video and you're gonna try this out with your kids, please make sure to click like and subscribe so that you can get notified every single time we have a brand new video here on The Parent Hive. See ya.